Hello everyone, we will continue the topic subroutines and in the previous video, we created a subroutine to fetch data from the header table. Now I will create a subroutine to fetch the data from item table. Now you will get more more clarity how you can decide using and changing. Just see this query. In this query, you are fetching data from item table based upon the data of first internal table. It means first internal table data is a input for the second table. In the first internal table, yes, you are fetching data based upon order number value, but ultimately we are using the data of first internal table to fetch that data from second table. And in this query, if I will come on to input and output, what is your input? Your input is LT underscore data. And after that, what is your output? LT underscore data one. So what is your using? Your using is LT underscore data. And what is your changing? LT underscore data one. Simple. Your input will go for using. Your output will go for changing. So your input is LT underscore data and your output is LT underscore data one. And have you seen now both are internal tables. Your using is also an internal table. Your changing is also an internal table and you will get more more clarity once I will go for the practical part. So I will go for second subroutine. So I will write perform. We all know first keyword is perform. I will write get underscore item. Now, what is our using? Our using is LT underscore data. And what is our changing? Our changing is LT underscore data file. I'll put dot. So we have one using and one changing. I will double click. It is asking, do you want to create the subroutine? Yes, I want to create the subroutine. Now, you can see now we are getting three things. Why three things? One is our main program. We already created a include program when we created the first subroutine for order header table. Now system is asking, do you want to create another include? It is totally your wish. If you want to create a new include in that you want to write the in that you want the logic of the item table subroutine, it is totally your wish. But I will use the existing include only so that in that include itself, I can see the logic of each and every subroutine. But it is totally your wish. You can go for this also. You can go for this also. You can go for this also. I'll go for enter. And you can see in the same subroutine. Now we in the same include, sorry. In the same include, we have the in, we have the logic of the item table also item table sub to t. Now, this is table. This is table. But the best naming convention we are following pt pt, and we are going for pass by reference concept. Now these are not variables. They are internal tables now. If we want these to be internal table, so how you can make internal table? You all know internal table type table of your structure. But here 
आई कैन नॉट गो फॉर लोकल स्ट्रक्चर कंपल्सरी कंपल्सरी यू नीड टू गो फॉर ग्लोबल स्ट्रक्चर एंड जस्ट रियलाइज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इट सेल्फ वी ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड ए ग्लोबल स्ट्रक्चर वेर विच विच फॉर एल टी अंडर स्कोर डेटा वी ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड ए ग्लोबल स्ट्रक्चर विच हैज फोर कॉलम्स एंड देन वी क्रिएटेड द टेबल टाइप बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली यू आर यूजिंग दिस यू हैव फर्स्ट सब रूटीन is giving lt underscore data then that lt data you are using so why why we will create again new structure type and table type we'll simply use that particular thing so i will double click and i will simply simply use that this is our table type which we created for order header table done now for item table we need to create because as of now we have not created that so how how we will go this is your formal parameter now if i will go to actual parameter this actual parameter is a internal table which has three column it means i will create a global structure of now how many column three columns i will go to sc11 transaction code suppose i will give zstr underscore ord i i'll go for create i'll create a structure order item now what is first column order number type data element of order number do not go for any mismatch here otherwise it will give the type conflict error order item number type data element of order item number so now i will go for item cost i'll pass the data element of item cost now as it is a amount field so we need to give the reference table and reference field reference table and reference field we can give from existing also if you see our order had a structure which we created do we have a currency field there i will check which we created in the previous video yes we have a currency column here so i will take the reference from here so what is your reference structure this and what is your reference field c u r you can pass the reference from your order item table also it is totally your wish suppose many time people ask why why we did this can we take from order item table itself yes yes you can take from order item table also it is totally your wish you can go for order item table and you can pass from here also because ultimately currency field is not in order item table also we pass the reference from order header so you can pass the reference from order header table also it's totally totally your wish i'll go for activation so our structure is ready but type table of is not accepting so we need to compulsory create a table type so i will create a table type create table type order i'll pass the structure i will activate so we created a table type which has a structure type and structure has three columns now i will use in the program this is our program so this is our sub routine so here i will write type table type 
So now this table type has a structure type. Structure has how many column? Three column. So our formal parameter is a internal table of three column. If you will go to your actual parameter, your actual parameter is a internal table of three columns only. So what I will do, I will activate up to this level. Now I will simply, simply cut this query and I will paste into this sub routine. I will go for yes and I will paste here. Now your internal table is PT. This is PT. This is PT. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Now I will focus on one most important point here. Now just see you are using is a internal table and we are going for pass by reference concept because in case of pass by reference your address will pass just think if your this internal table has billion trillion of data and you are going for pass by value concept unnecessary unnecessary you are giving the memory to the formal parameter so that's why i'm saying if your requirement is not that pass by value is necessary never never go for pass by value we cover and we are passing by pass by reference concept only and yes now people will ask can i replace this by global structure if I can go for global structures here, it is totally your wish because ultimately it is already developed program and in that program local structures was available. So I'm not changing that part. If you want to change that part, it is totally, totally your wish. Now, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are creating, we created a, another subroutine for order item table to fetch data from order item table. When we saw the query, we analyzed our LT underscore data is using, our LT underscore data one is changing. So we take LT underscore data is input, LT underscore data one is output. So we passed LT data as using LT data one as changing. And yes, and now both are internal tables. We already have a table type for order header. So we used that. But for item order structure type and table type are not available. So we simply, simply created. And yes, it is pass by reference concept, reference concept. And yes, after that, if you want to completely remove the logic of local structures, it is totally your wish if you want to do that. In the next video, I will create a, another subroutine to merge the data of these two internal tables. So that's it in this video. Thank you.